Canelo. Yeah. Canelo. Yeah, it's the same thing with Canelo. He's still um, goat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, like I said, because now I have to, I have to, I have to, because of the fact that the sport is created that way, I have to judge it based on the, the way the sport is. So yeah, Pacquiao's a goat, Canelo's a goat, whatever, you know. Um, but you know, it, I, I can't individually single guys out when the rest of the sport is doing that too. I mean, you know, I remember Billy Joe Saunders failed a drug test not that long ago. Um, and you know, you're like. You, you you, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna argue with Billy Joe Saunders when where'd you can, put him when, right now? Uh, right now, I think Billy Joe Saunders is probably gonna retire. I mean, he had a Below bad. Him. He had a yeah. He had a. I mean, he would have probably been average, or he would have probably still been good. Um, but I don't know how one returns from that kind of injury because I think he had a, a multiple breaks in that in that orbit bone. I think it was worse than the one I had. You know, um, but nonetheless, um, you can't. Again, I, my bottom line is you can't pinpoint one guy and blame him for the whole sport you can't do that you know uh because at this point i i feel like if guys don't do it they're not only never going to be uh but never giving them going to give themselves the position to get to the elite level they're also going to put themselves that in harm's way because a clean fighter going up against a dirty fighter uh is is a very uh is a risky proposition you know so so i i think the combination of those things leaves people in a position where they have no choice